Hey everyone, I just wanted to take a moment to answer a really simple question that a lot of Christians have, which is, as a Christian, is it okay for me to date? Or maybe better said, as a Christian, is it okay for me to spend time and money and energy to try to find somebody to marry? Or should I instead spend all my time and all my effort and all my energy and all my money seeking God? And a lot of this comes from a misinterpretation, in my opinion, of 1 Corinthians 7.27, which at the end says, Are you loosed from a wife? Seek not a wife. Or we could make that gender neutral and say, Are you loosed from a spouse? Don't seek a spouse. And people have taken that phrase at the end, Don't seek a spouse, and put it together with Matthew 6.33, which says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these other things will be added unto you. And we've basically come up with what I believe is a hyper-spiritual or overly spiritual concept that says if I'll just focus all my energy on Jesus and sit in my prayer closet, if God wants to, he can bring somebody by my house uh, to marry me. And uh, I think that's a little bit out of balance. I'm not saying that God can't do that or that he's never done that. But basically, if that's your approach, then you're going to need a miracle in order to get married. <laughs> okay, and it might be that God wants to use a more natural means for you to find your spouse, like meeting them at the grocery store, or meeting them at church, or God forbid, creating a dating profile on a website and meeting them that way. Listen, Matthew 6.33 does not say that you can't seek anything else in life except God. All it says is, is that you need to seek God first. We're supposed to put God first in everything that we do. But if we do that, then we're okay to seek everything else. And so certainly, if your pursuit of marriage begins to crowd out your relationship with God and you can't ever spend time with God because you're too busy going on dates, that's negative. However, if you've got a great relationship with God and your whole and, and enjoying your relationship with God, and you want to go on a date with somebody, that's awesome. Go do it. 1 Corinthians 7.27 is not saying that it's illegal for you to ever seek a spouse. Paul's actually talking about a limited period of time where the, the Corinthian church was facing a ton of persecution. And if you read that verse in context, 1 Corinthians 7.26 says that I suppose for this present distress, it's good for a man to remain as he is. In other words, if we lived in a time where you might be drug out onto the street and murdered for being a Christian, then that's probably not the best environment to try to settle down and start a family. But if you live in the United States of America, where you're not in danger of being murdered, or in many places in the world, there's freedom of religion, and you're not in danger in every moment of being murdered for being a Christian. So if you want to spend some time and effort and energy trying to find somebody to marry, that's no problem. Go for it. Go enjoy life. Quit being so religious and stressed out about everything, but just make sure that you put God first, and then he'll be happy to bring you your spouse. Amen.